Dear colleagues, let's talk about medication therapy, preoperative uh, chemotherapy, much has been said. As to the adjuvant chemotherapy, Olga has mentioned some points, but mostly she has been talking about radiation therapy. As to systemic uh, uh, chemotherapy after surgical treatment, we do have this modality. If patients after surgical treatment, if we uh, break them down to the risk groups, if it's a high risk metastasis in the iliac lymph nodes or invasion in parametrium or R1 in the resection margins, uh, here adjuvant uh, uh, radiation treatment is indicated, but we shall consider adjuvant chemotherapy as well. Adding of adjuvant systemic uh, chemotherapy is possible in a high group, a high group of patients. It was mentioned in 2020 in the International Congress. First in 2018, then in 2020. Mature data uh, demonstrated uh, their possibility of this option after adjuvant chemo radiation therapy to use additional chemotherapy. It's cervical cancer 1B1, 2A2, uh, three arms were considered. No chemotherapy, uh, chemotherapy plus radiation or paclitaxel carboplaxin. You can see the inclusion criteria, 1B adin, 1B1, and addition of the chemotherapy for high-risk group when one of the criteria was present, either metastasis in the lymph nodes, parametral invasion, or positive margin, a near edge event, uh, uh, chemo and radiation plus additional chemotherapy statistically uh, showed better results. So this modality, this variant can be considered after surgical treatment standard chemotherapy, radiation therapy. After radiation treatment, systemic chemotherapy is discussable. Question, it's an uh, international randomized uh, third phase clinical trial out back. Systemic uh, uh, chemotherapy after radical radiation treatment in case of the locally advanced uh, cervical cancer, the design of this study patients, they were selected Y B 1B2, 2, 3B, 4A, either chemotherapy, uh, radiation therapy, and plus chemotherapy, carboplastin uh, cycloplaxel. Uh, uh, the there was no difference in survival rate, overall survival rate, disease-free disease survival rate. Chemo radiotherapy is still a gold standard. As to the chemotherapy in case of the advanced cancer, locally advanced, up to 2,000. Uh, it was thought uh, that it's a chemo-resistant tumor, but uh, when other duplets started to be used, cis plus topotecan, it was demonstrated that uh, this kind of regimen is infective. From six to nine months survival, 
and then duplets uh, of uh, treatment of the cervical cancer. They are standards. Different duplets, uh, they are considered, they are compared, paclitaxel, cisplatin, and the following. Uh, there are no statistically significant uh, difference uh, uh, between uh, these duplets, uh, but uh, paclitaxel plus cisplatin turned out to be tolerated better. Uh, JGOG, one more study, paclitaxel plus, plus cisplatin, paclitaxel plus carboplatin, uh, the, the similar overall survival. And it's a standard for the locally advanced can, uh, cervical cancer. Uh, then anti-angiogenic therapy uh, was used, bebacizumab, statistically better results. Duplet, duplet plus bevacizumab uh, will increase overall survival from 13 to 16 months. Here we see duplets, our Russian recommendation, cisplatin. Uh, we serve uh, uh, paclitaxel, ephosphamid, cisplatin, carboplatin. Then, in case of relapses or uh, progression of the disease, uh, the second line of chemotherapy, here we may have quite few options. The paradigm of uh, treatment uh, in case of the relapsed cervical cancer, the old uh, now, oh, we have the era of the immunotherapy. Uh, they are uh, affecting uh, their tumor cell apoptosis via the immune system. The result of the effectiveness of the immunotherapy, Keynote 158 study that demonstrated effectiveness of immunotherapy for patient with advanced cervical cancer, cohort or solid tumors, but uh, there were endometrial cancer and cervical cancer. Cervical, cervical cancer or sub analysis, pembrolizumab 200 milligrams every three weeks. Uh, intravenously to treat uh, advanced cancer. In patients with PDL-L1 plus expression, the partial response 15%. Uh, it may seem to be not uh, much, but uh, there are patients uh, that uh, have very, very few modalities for treatment. And we found uh, this uh, the agent for immune therapy that turned out to be effective. And for me, 15% uh, is quite good. And full response, 4%. It's a sub analysis with, with the PDL1 expression. If uh, there is PDL expression zero, no results. All in all, in 50% of cases, Partial or full response was registered in case of immunotherapy of a relapsed advanced cervical cancer. Uh, the overall survival median 11 months in patients with PDL expression. All in all, immunotherapy is included in the clinical guidelines of the second line. Pembrolizumab, 200 milligrams intravenously every uh, three weeks as uh, the second line of chemotherapy. The similar recommendations were adopted and approved by oncological associations and included into the recommendations as an option for treatment of the second line of chemotherapy as the first option of the second line chemotherapy. 
immunotherapy um, is justified to be effective. I think Keynote 626 show, will show the results. I may share that information with you that uh, there are positive results. Combination to the standardized chemotherapy, paclitaxel carboplatin plus pembrolizumab, overall survival, free uh, disease free survival rate is better, comparing to the use of only duplets without uh, immunotherapy. And I think maybe this kind of combination will be used as the first line of immunotherapy in case of a cervical cancer. Mm -hmm. 